Hello everyone, this is Star Sector version 0.95.1 point one A R C six, and this is what I'm going what I'm going to call the Zyphal's Dominator. I recently revisited a lot of low tech uh, warships just to see if I could make them work. Uh, they all seem well, many of them seem pretty terrible, but this seems to be uh, something that actually works. So what we have here are we have some hardened shields, an integrated targeting unit, a converted hangar with this with a Xyphos and that converted hangar we are using a Hellborn cannon and a Mark's Mark 9 auto cannon with a single salamander that makes it a little bit better at hunting down uh, frigates as well as a high velocity driver and a heavy mauler so it has all capacitors and all vents maxed out and uh, well as you can see firing all of its weapons it costs nine 12 and it has a flux dissipation of eight of 800 but this really boils down to a shields up at the same time is going to be uh like 11 12 so we so we'll be filling its capacitors just keeping everything firing it has a single vulcan cannon <laughs> so it's uh the bright part is the xiphos can protect it 360 with their point defense uh, the downside is if it's going face to face with something that's using a lot of missiles, uh, the Vulcan cannons are mostly what it's going to be using. So what can this do? Well, it has extreme range, as we saw with the um, integrated targeting unit. So what this means is it has much larger, much longer range than most uh, other dominators, which is useful. It means that they can win engagements. But I've noticed that the AI really doesn't like the idea of venting. It would rather not vent. Ever. <laughs> Even when the enemy is disabled. So that's uh, interesting. But as you can see here, the, our Dominator is sort of winning this fight. He is disabled and what it should do here is vent, but for some reason it's not going to. So we just need to vent for it. It'll take a little bit of damage, but uh, it will be able to win this fight far more effectively as a result. So it's able to punch down enemy armor and shields pretty well. And were it to have some support, it would be able to back off and invent as needed. It wouldn't be that big of a deal. As you can see, it's about half vents. The enemy dominator is also about half vents, and the Xyphos are actually turning off things on the enemy dominator. But as you can see, its, it's vents are kind of full at the moment. You know, its flux is full, so it's going to uh, struggle with that. But the enemy is having a flame out, which is good. The enemy is not disabled, though. So what our Dominator needs to do is probably to vent, and then I, if I were I flying it, I would have just turned it and been burned out of the way, but uh, it is what it is. Go on, autopilot, do your thing. And he's being very passive and going after the enemy, after the uh, enemy Dominator. But he is going to be able to do quite a bit of damage. Now the advantage that th that this build that doesn't use missiles really, aside from a single salamander, has over builds that do use missiles and rely on them, is that this build doesn't. This build is just as effective at the end of the fight as it is at the at the beginning of the fight, whereas Dominator we're facing right now is far less capable at the end of the fight than it is at the beginning depending on how many missiles it has. Well, it most likely would have missiles near the end of the fight. So, once they're out of missiles, they're kind of screwed. Their, their ability to deal damage drops quite precipitously. So, I don't think you can take on an onslaught. Let's go ahead and see uh, how badly this goes, but I have a feeling it will just get completely trounced because the Dominator is very much a line ship. It's sort of a miniature onslaught, if you will. 
Now the Onslaught, yeah, it's it's going to be able to max out its shields and then use its big guns to deal a bunch of damage and then stay in close so to continue to just punch it down. But yeah, that's going to be a very one-sided fight. Now this is sort of set up like artillery. There are closer ranged heavy weapons that you can use. So this ship is going to be very effective in, say, a line of ships like it. How well does it do against smaller ships? Because that tends to be a consideration when making ships like this, is how well does it do against smaller, more maneuverable ships? Well, because it's able to stay at relatively high range and attack the enemy from range, from range, it tends to do pretty well. And the Xiphos are decent at turning off enemy arm, at turning off enemy engines, causing flameouts. At which point, this fight is very, very one-sided. So, this enforcer is not going to last particularly long in this engagement. And while it can sort of escape. Can't really do too well. Let's look at our weapon groups real quick, just because we didn't do it earlier. So we have all these on a different weapon group, so the AI can turn off whatever it needs to. All right, so how well does it do against its points and frigates? Um, hint, probably not well. Because <laughs> that tends to be the, tr that, that is the usual trend. Let's throw it up against the worst of the worst just a bunch of uh, like pirate trash essentially pirate and pather garbage we need one more three we need one more hound hey whatever we'll throw one of those in there all right so how well does it do when heavily outnumbered because some ships are actually pretty good at being outnumbered and others and other ships are really bad about it so that seems to have a lot of hammers and such on it. As you can see, it's already getting taken out by the Xiphos. So that one's going to be out for a little while. But because this Dominator cannot turn particularly well, that hound that is behind it can kind of just start shooting it and not suffer much in the way of consequences. Now that it's in front of it though, because the Xiphos were able to disable its engines, maybe it'll take some damage. Maybe. Probably not. But we see that the enemy Cerberus's, uh, Cerberus's hounds uh, and one mud skipper with Holborn, no, a, a uh, high velocity driver, uh, a, a railgun, whatever it is, can uh, start to make some headway. And so now this Dominator will try to take down some of these. And it's taken down the the picket class automated ship, and it took down that uh, Cerberus that was always getting in front of it. But the enemy ships are starting to tear through its engine block, which is pretty common for how this whole uh, whole thing plays out. And now those Zyphos are both gone. It has absolutely nothing contesting its engine block, so it's going to have some problems. It took out the other Hound because it was able to actually target it with its main guns. But it can't stop the mud skippers from shooting its engine block, and they are faster than it is. So unless the weapons explode, they will be able to do consistent damage. All right, it's, it's being able to take those out, but not quite enough. But all right, now I can hear you already speculating. Then, how well does it do against carriers? Well, we're not going to throw the piranhas up there, because it'll just be able to... I think it will just be able to ignore the piranhas, shield through their, their bombs, and then just do its thing. So how well does it do against a bunch of uh, carriers with the equivalent of fighters? How well does it do there? Well... If its salamander can do something, probably decently well. If not, then not. Now these iPods are going to be at least decent at doing something, but they are not going to last very long against massed enemy fighters. And so 
my uh, what I suspect is going to happen here is that the fighters will very slowly tear through its engine block because it doesn't have a lot of engine it doesn't have a lot of coverage now this is a ship that you would want to be supported by some sort of carrier that specializes in interceptors or uh, some sort of destroyer that is extremely effective at killing enemy fighters. But we can see that it seems to be doing an okay job. It is starting to get its armor peeled off of it in the back and it hasn't really been able to make any headway against any of these carriers and I don't think it's going to because the enemy carriers are just faster than it is. So this would be a fight that takes like two minutes and eventually ends with the Dominator exploding. So we're just going to skip that because that will take forever. But yeah, there we go, guys. This is the Xyphal's Dominator. It is decent at what it does, and it pretty much benefits in every way from a lot of skills that you can take that improve ships that are captained by officers, as well as being able to improve it greatly just with just with uh, officer skills, officer combat skills. But yeah, there we go. That is the Xyphos Dominator, and just let me know what you think about it in the comments below. And alright guys, my name is Infinite Mirror, this has been Star Sector version 0.95.1a RC6. Go leave me a like, comment, subscribe, ring that bell, and just share the video with everything you would like, and I will catch you guys next time.